Well, Baltimore County students, they begin the school year in some of the second oldest buildings in the state next to Baltimore City. Now today, County Executive Johnny Olszewski, he announced new funding to get the ball rolling on a new Towson and a new Delaney High School. WJZ is live. Pat Warren has more on what's now on the table. Hey, Pat. Well, what we know now is that Baltimore City and Baltimore County both have been struggling with old school buildings for years. Baltimore County plans to move ahead. Another year without air conditioning in Baltimore County schools. It's so hard to concentrate in a classroom like that. But the county executive is concentrating on a remedy with the release of funding for the planning phase of two new high schools. And I'm committed to ensuring that every student, every parent, and every teacher in Baltimore County has access to a clean, safe, modern learning environment. Right now, students are attending Delaney and Towson High Schools, both considered outdated and inadequate. School construction funding was County Executive Johnny Olszewski's top legislative priority in this year's General Assembly session. We're not asking for, for free money from the state. We're asking for the state to fund what they owe their half of school construction. What's been put forward to date has been insufficient to keep pace with Baltimore County's needs. A school construction bill failed to pass this session. Maryland's new Speaker of the House, Adrian Jones, is a Baltimore County delegate who has made school construction her top priority. I appreciate our partners at the state. Um, I think that they understand the urgency of, of this need, and, uh, and I have a lot of confidence that both in the House and the Senate um, we'll have partners who are going to help us get this done and get it over the line this year. Meanwhile, the county will put half a million dollars in planning for each of the two new schools. And school construction bills will be the very first bills introduced in the General Assembly in January. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.